Attention, attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to center court. Prior to the start of tonight's game, Bristol Community College would like to recognize head men's basketball coach Robert Delalu on his 100th career win as a collegiate head coach. The win, the win came on December 10th of 2015 when your Bristol Community College Bayhawks defeated Gateway Community College 73 to 72 right here at Bishop Conley High School. Coach Delalu began his head coaching career at Bristol during their inaugural season in 2008. He has since led his team to a Massachusetts Community College Athletic Conference Championship in 2014, the Athletic Department's first championship. Also a first place regular season finish in the 2014-2015 season. He has helped many of his student athletes pursue their academic and athletic endeavors after Bristol. Coach Delalu is also the director of the Multicultural Center at Bristol, where he is able to mentor an even larger student population. The Bayhawks director of athletics, Derek Vermeeros, and Bristol Community College president, Jack Sprague, will now present Coach with a plaque commemorating his 100th win. Congratulations to Rob Delalu. We look forward to many more wins. Welcome everybody to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with visiting Massasoit Community College and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask all fans, coaches, and players to show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after today's game. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. And now for today's starting lineups. First, for the visiting Massasoit Community College Warriors. Number five, Miles Diaz. Number 11, Colin Campbell. Number 21, Mackenzie Ryan. Number 23, Enda Noli. And number 25, Leland Jackson. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Number one, Jarrell Goes. And next, number four, Josh Nelson. Number 12, Alex Cotton. Number 13, Jeremiah Ephraim. And rounding out your starting five, number 14, Armani Baker. All right, welcome everybody to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, right next to Bristol Community College as the Bristol Community College Bayhawks take on the Massasoit Community College Warriors. Hi, I'm David Cardoza. I'm along with my colleague, good old Benjamin Farabini Andrews. Good. How you doing today, Ben? Doing good. How are you? All right. On the court just now, you've seen uh, Coach Robert Delalu get, uh, get commemorated with his 100th win. Uh, that win was coming during a contest that we did, Ben, on December the 10th. It was a thriller here. Yes, it and it was. seems like we always have a thriller here, and we're ready for a great contest here between these two between these two rivals here on Route 24. Route 24 rivalry here. I was just at Massasoit College today. Spying. Let's <laughs> doing some scouting. Yeah. Here's Jeremiah Aframe. Nice drill. Nice. Oh, nice move. Nice crossover dribble to the hole. Couldn't get it to go. Yes, sir. 
Here's Matt Sawyer with the basketball. That's number 25, Leland Jackson, off to Colin Campbell. Campbell on the drive. Baseline jumper, no good by number 23, Ende Noli. Hope I'm saying that name right. Nelson on the drive, up with the right hand, lays it in. The Bayhawks will be on the board first in this contest. Massa Sawyer in the dark, in the dark green. Bristol in the white with the uh, dark green trimming. Oh, there's an open, open man underneath. Nobody covering him, and that was Mackenzie Ryan. There's Nelson on the wing. Massasoya lays back in a 2-3 zone. Ephraim to the middle. That was Jarrell Gomes. I didn't recognize him with the hair up like that. On the drive, can't get it to go, but the putback is there by Mackenzie Ryan. Four to two, the guest, Massasoya, up early. On the drive, that ball stolen. Here's an outlet pass. Down court, he's gonna be fouled. Alex Cotton will, will foul Miles Dias. And as you said, Ben, yeah, the Bayhawks, six and six, coming into this game. Um, didn't have a game over the break. Um, and they've really been a team that's been seesawing here back and forth, so. Yes, they have. You know, Rob, Coach Rob Dell, loose teams. Um, usually do better in the second half, January, the month of January, February, when it starts getting to, to be crunch time, starts to get pushed towards tournament time. Yeah. It's almost like they get serious when it's go time. Yeah. When it's go time. Nelson with the rebound. Jeremiah Ephraim. You'll see a lot of different players play at the point. A lot of different ball handlers for the Bayhawks. Yeah, they do spread it around pretty well when it comes to, you know, people taking it out. They do. Nelson for three, wide open, side rims it, can't get it to go. Miles Dias with the basketball, brings it all the way down court, lays it up, can't get it to go. Gomes back out to Ephraim on the outlet. Ephraim up with the left hand, can't get it to go, rebounded by Colin Campbell. Campbell looking to push it. Stopped by the cutting. And they... And then I want to I want to see if that if that N is uh, silent, but then it would just be Da. It's Enda Enda Noli. I'm gonna go with Enda Noli. A lot of N's in this name. Yeah, there is. Quick giveaway on, a, on an episode of Wheel of Fortune. Right? <laughs> 17 minutes left to play. We're just starting here. If you're just joining us here on FR Media. <coughs> Channel 95 in your Comcast dial. Ende will get the second one to go. Nelson, trying to take it inside. Kicks it back out to Ephraim. Losing control. Massa Sawyer playing that ferocious 2 3 zone. Errant pass by, that was Kevin Desire who's checking to the ball game now. Yep. Kevin Desire wasn't in the starting five. He's the first guy at the bench for today's contest for the Bayhawks. Bringing the ball up now is Colin Campbell. There's a three point shot, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Jarrell Gomes. That shot was by Leland Jackson. BCC trying to work that zone. The way you work that zone is to pass the basketball. And they get it inside to Armani Baker, and he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. Yep. Not a lot of offensive scoring here. In the early going. Here in the early going. But we do have four fouls between the two teams. It'll be interesting to see if BCC 
Baker sinks that one. Interesting to see if they'll be able to break through that 2-3 zone because we've seen BCC struggle passing. We've seen them, yeah, we've seen them struggle with zone, with zone defenses. Exactly, because they don't pass as much and they don't know how to move the ball around as well as other teams exactly. do. Exactly. You you're exactly right, Ben. you got to get that zone moving. Both free throws made by Baker. <laughs> Oh, on the on the drive, it's going to be steps. They'll call Ende Noli with steps, though. So. Will be BCC basketball. It's Joshua Nelson. Again, inside. That's Baker. That's his strong suit. Rebounded by Kevin Desire off the rebound. Off the miss by Baker. Giving BCC the lead. Here comes the trap. Here's Campbell. That's Leland Jackson for three, and he'll nail it. Trifecta. Massasoit regains the lead. Here's go. Joshua Nelson. There's a three by Ephraim. Can't get it to go. BCC a lot of times struggles on the outside. Very streaky shooting team. Jackson takes a three, rolls it up. Finger roll, can't get it to go. Ooh, nice pass by Jackson. I'm sorry, Mackenzie Ryan. That's a travel. Another traveling call on Massasoit. Massasoit comes into this game seven and five, so this is a very important game for BCC because if they beat them today, they're going to be bring them a little closer to Massasoit. They will be tied, and Massasoit beat BCC on the. Oh yeah, they and, will um, be tied. That's what I. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they. There's Nelson. Nelson cross court pass to Ephraim down inside to Desire, who gets it to Baker. That's the ball movement we want to see. Definitely. That's what you're going to do against Massasoit. They can keep that up. And then you're going to trap. If you're going to trap, you need made baskets. In the three, that ball is blocked. Blocked by Gomes. That was number 12. Paul Bentley had his uh, shot blocked by Mr. All, Mr. All World, the leading scorer for the Bayhawks, right. Jarrell Gomes. Now, if BCC can keep up play like they, uh, like what they were just doing on that drive. They're going to they be win. more unselfish. Oh, definitely. Because it pays dividends in the end. Yeah. Nelson on the drive, kicks it back out. Here's Gomes, 4-3. He's gonna get fouled. He's fouled on the three-point shot, so he looks like he's gonna be, he's, he will be going to the line. The foul is on the shot. Well, now, BCC, we, ta we talk about it all the time, Ben. Actually, so he's BC going to the line only for two, I think. Or was it, yeah. So it is three shots. Oh, it is three, yeah. So we talked about it all the time, Ben. BCC's at its best when they're in transition, exactly. when they're getting made baskets, when they're moving the ball around. But when ultimately, they're stealing it. Yeah, ultimately, they when they get into that press, yep. and a lot of times they get away from it, you know. That's when they start not seeing as good results. Right. So, obviously, the more made baskets you have, you can get they can get into that press. Yep. You know. The bigger lead you have, the more points you have. BCC seems to also... They, they, a lot of times they let teams hang around for too long. They do. And it comes back to bite them in the butt. And sometimes That last two. free throw is no good. Yeah. Two made free throws by Jarrell Gomes. That's Paul Bentley for three. Paul oh, Bentley off the bench. He can't get that to go. He's missed two of them. And I've seen two sometimes where BCC just doesn't Baker, settle into baseline. it. Nice pass to desire, but he can't get it to go. That was nice. It's going to be a foul on Kevin Desire. Yeah. I like the way Paul, you know, I like the way Kevin Desire is playing. He's, mm. he's involved on the offensive end, making his presence felt, and on the other end, you know, um, yeah. he definitely has six fouls to give. Yeah, definitely a change from some of the other games we've seen where he doesn't get as involved in the game and he's kind of just there. Kind of aloof. Yeah. Kind of, he looks a little bit more aggressive here tonight. And exactly. That could be Coach Rob Del Lou, you know, giving him the confidence to, mm. you know, go out there and do his thing. Yeah, exactly. And we see him in the game early. That free throw made. 
Paul Bentley comes off the bench, and he looks to be like he is an offensive force. He's already yeah. coming off the bench and making his presence felt. Yeah. Taking taking shots. Ten to ten early. Oh, nice give and go. Nice pass. Nice pass by Baker to Desire. And there's Desire again. Yeah. Desire playing with a lot of desire here today. Could, could play dividends. Definitely. BCC in that trapping defense. Three-point shot by no Sawyer, no good. That was Miles Dias. Offensive rebound as Leland Jackson swooping to the hoop to lay it in. Bayhawks need to get on the boards. Sitting back. Nelson for three. Good Ooh, next. Makes it look easy. That was good. Nelson's got like that lackadaisical relaxed shot. Oh, yeah. Had all day to sink that one. It did. And the shot. And there we go. Out Taking it the other way. No good. Rebound desire can't get it to go. I tell you, I still like the way Desire's attacking the boards and the way that he is involved around the basket. Bentley takes it to the hoop. Bentley, the sixth man from Massasoit, has come in and has scored four points. Nice crowd, nice crowd here today, Ben. Oh, definitely. One of the bigger crowds we've seen as of late. That's for sure. And Gomes will, will take an extra step on his way to the basket. He'll be called for steps. Coming in for Armani Baker is number 11. A sophomore from Providence, Rhode Island, Miguel Tejada. Also in the game for the Bayhawks is number two. Uh, Josh Banks in the game. And an errant pass gives BCC the basketball with 11.37 left in the game. I uh, left in the first half, I should say. Number 23 inbounds in the basketball, Kevin Desire. Looking to inbound to Josh Nelson, number four. On the court with him is Miguel Tejada, number 11. Number one still out there, Jarrell Gomes. We'll get inside the banks, kick back out to Gomes. On the drive, nice strong, nice strong move. And they're gonna get him on the elbow. They're gonna get him on the forehand. Nice. He's gonna shoot two. And that's when Jerome Gomes at his best, when he's taking the ball to the hole and he's being, he's being aggressive looking for a shot. When he's not sit, trying to sit back out there and try to take outside shots all day. He needs to be going, he needs to be going to the basket. And Gomes sinks both free throws. Chitty Amici, the sophomore guard from Providence, Rhode Island, uh, yes, from Providence, Rhode Island Central High School. Yes, Chitty Amici also in the game. A lot of guys from Providence. Yep. Here's Campbell to the hole. Leland Jackson in the corner. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Gomes going up for it. Taking it away from his teammate Kevin Desire. Amici to Gomes. Thought about it. Gets it to a cutting Desire. Puts it up there. No good. Taking it the other way. Putting up with the left hand. No good. Kind of a give up shot there by uh, number. I think that's that was number. Number, that was number 11, uh, Colin Campbell. Yeah, Colin, you just kind of, you could, I could tell from here that wasn't going to go. This kind of. Yeah, that was kind of a. Sad man hook shot. Kind of yeah. a wild, kind of a wild shot there. A nice yeah, drive. That's Colin Campbell, a sophomore, six foot from Holbrook, Massachusetts. Again, battle of route 24. Massasoit won the first contest in, yeah. in uh, the Bayhawks. The Bayhawks uh, home opener for three. No yeah. good. Josh Banks. Oh, 
Looked like it was off BCC, but they're giving it to Massasoya. Here's Paul Bentley. Taking it to the hole, kicks it back out for three. No oh, good. Nice. Number five, Miles Dias can't get it to go. Bayhawks in transition. It's going, nice. leaves it in. Here comes a trap. Long pass. Off the glass and in, Miles Dias takes it to the hole. Massasoya breaks the press. Ball movement is definitely more crisp. Definitely more existent than it has been in the past, Ben. Cross court sure. pass. Amici on the drive. Oh, nice walk to Bayer. Nice walk to play. Ronnie Baker. Amici was about to get that shot smashed. And at the last second, he finds a cutting Baker. Going to the hole. Reverse layup. No nice dice. defensive play. Nice defensive play by, ba by uh, Josh Banks. Almost had it stolen there. Yeah, it did. Play Takes there. a shot. Goes to the hole. Reverse lay in. Oh, no almost. good. Pretty move. Couldn't get it to go. Bentley on the other end. Looking to lay it in. No good. And I believe Bentley was fouled. Yeah. And he'll go, go to, to the line. line. He'll go to the line again for a couple of more attempts. Yeah. Now we're starting to get into the contest now, Ben. Now it's 21 to 16. The home team, Bay Hawks have taken the lead, and we're starting to see more scoring here. Yeah. Nine minutes and three seconds left to play. No. What Again, a good so crowd here from Bishop Conley High School. Yeah, one of the best crowds we've seen so far this season. Yeah, full crowd in the house. Um, here for the, we're here for the ceremony for the 100th, uh, commemorating the 100th win for Rob Del Lue. Yeah. Rob Del Lue has done a lot for this, um, you know, for the, for the Bayhawks. Yeah. Coming in in 2008, and that was the first year. That was the inaugural season for the Bayhawks, and sure was. they haven't stopped since. 100 wins. Yep. Congratulations Impressive. to Rob Del Lue. Here's Nelson on the drive. Stop and pop. Can't get it to go. That, that shot was altered by Leland Jackson, but, but Nelson gets the ball back. Yeah. Sifted through the crowd of people under the basket. Yeah, I'm not sure how that it. happened, but he got it back. On the drive to Hada, and he's going to oh. step. He's going to oh. travel. Thought he stepped yep. on the bounds there, but no, he too many steps. Yeah. Oh, we've had a handful of uh, traveling calls here. Man. Yeah, he did. Though I forgot the dribble shuffle. <laughs> Ball goes the other way. 8:30 left in this game. 21 to 17. BCC holds on to a four-point lead. going to be a foul. That foul is going to be on Chidi Amici. Paul Bentley. And uh, Massasoit's in the bonus, so they're going to go shoot one and one. Yes, they are. And Paul Bentley is going to step up to the line again. Yes, he is. He's already hit three free throws so far. Let's see if he can hit two more. One more. Yeah, Bentley coming off the bench mm -hmm. has six points already. Yes, he does. Uh, actually, well, oh yeah, he just made it six now. Are you gonna put that? Yeah. And he'll make both free throws. Paul yes, Bentley coming off the bench as a sixth man for Massasoya, giving him a little boost. Yeah. A little offensive punch off the bench. Oh yeah, every little bit helps. Seen that for BCC, we've seen that for a lot of teams. That's for sure. Michi fun. Finds Gomes underneath, oh, and that's nice. nice. What a play by Gomes. Gomes got height. I'd like to see him play down there a little bit more often. Strong move by Gomes inside. Well, he found himself a little away from the basket, but he battled back in. Campbell, Leland Jackson, found about three. Stops at the elbow. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Baker. Baker looking to take it all by himself, but he loses it out of bounds. And it's going to be off himself. So yeah. Massasoya will get the basketball. Yes, they will. He was looking for a call on the trip, but I checking think he in is over Danny, his own two feet. Checking in is Danny Longmore, six foot five freshman, 190 pounds from Bluefield, Connecticut. He'll come into the game for Massasoya. Yeah. BCC was that trap. Yeah. 
Campbell crosses over in the corner. Finds Lilo Jackson. Can't get it to go. Uh, Massasoit is struggling with their outside shot. Yep, they are. BCC just racked up another foul on Baker. Yep, Baker's going to sit. Tejada's in for him. Mackenzie Ryan's going to go to the line for two. So far, he's got uh, five points in this game. See if he can pick up another. Two more, even. Kenzie Ryan will nail that one. Oh, yeah. Means he will shoot one more. 23 to 20. So bang that one home. That one rattles around and drops in. Here's Amici. Ooh, Nelson. Finds Baker, finds our domes, and now Miguel Tejada lost that one. Yeah. I thought Gomes should have took it to the hole there. Campbell. Dipsy Dews in the lane, and he's going to travel. Oh, he's going to get the traveling travel. call. Yeah. It was interesting Both to see. Both teams got uh, twinkle toes over here. Yeah, it was interesting to see Colin Campbell match up against Dimitri because Colin Campbell comes in at six feet, and uh, Amici. Look at him, you know. Looks a lot, small, the, looks a lot yeah, small than that. Probably <laughs> five, seven, five, eight. It was interesting to see the matchup, but Amici held in well. Here's Amici. I like what they're doing. Gomes uh -huh. on the baseline, looking to drive. Puts it off the glass. Cut in. Uh, He'll score the foul. Score the points. And Gomes will look for the old-fashioned three-point play. Can he get the end one? 25, 21, six minutes and 40 seconds left to play here in the river. Miguel Tejada will come out and Chidi Amici will come out for the Bayhawks. Back in the game now. Stepping in is Josh Banks. And Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Ephraim. Jeremiah Ephraim in the game. Back in the game, Kevin Desire. BCC waiting, BCC waiting with that half court trap. Yeah. Almost stolen there by Ephraim. The jumper. It's good by Leland Jackson on the other end. Jackson with 26 the to 23. <laughs> Nelson looking to drive. They swing it around. Put three. No good. Bentley dribbles out of the corner. Being harassed by Gomes. And Ephraim. Oh, that ball's stolen by Nelson, oh. can't get it to go. Nelson almost had that one. Nelson almost had that one. Would have been his first steal of the game. He's been trying hard this game to grab a steal. And we've seen him make a lot of steals other games. Yeah, Nelson always active. Always active on the defensive end, always active in the passing lane. For yep. three, Miles Dias can't get it to go. Lilo Jackson, that's his spot. He likes that shot. And, he and it's still it. wide open and he makes it. One point lead. Yeah. Nelson with a deep three. Big oh, gets it to go. Easy. And he gives a little stare down to number 21. That's a second McKenzie easy Ryan. three of the game. Yeah. He looks like he's got that slow motion uh, yeah. release That's there. Like a Sunday afternoon shot. <laughs> <laughs> on the drive, Leland Jackson, he's starting to take over. Uh, he's starting to take over on the offensive end from Massasoit. Six quick points by Jackson. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, with Banks and Ephraim, I get those two confused. They get the same haircut. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> But Ephraim's got the little, his cornrows are a little longer. He's <laughs> all right. That's You're what right. makes the difference right, right. there. Look like, look like twin brothers out there. Yeah, Holds on the court for BCC. Yeah. That's Banks inbounding to Ephraim. Bayhawks with that 1-2-2 two, two offense to go against that 2-3 zone by Massasoit. No good by Ephraim. Coming back the other way, Dias, the jumper. 
It's good. Thanks, Dye is with that shot from the elbow. Picks up his fourth points of the game. He's taking a few outside shots. He's taking a few uh, three-pointers, but he hasn't been able to make those. No. He needs to take it a little bit closer. Yep. Here's Banks. Massasoit is still in that 2-3 zone. Yep. Motion offense. Nelson for three again. Oh. Can't get it to go. Nice rebound on the lane by Banks offensively. Gets it to go in the foul. And he pounds his chest, and he should. Nice work on the offensive boards for Josh Banks. Picks up his first two points of the game, and he's going to go for the line, to the line for one more. Yep, and Miguel Sahada will come in for Kevin Desire. So we'll check yep. out. three-point play by Josh Banks. Gives him a three-point lead. Good enough. Definitely. Who won the drive? Lost, uh, control. Lost control of his body there. That was yes, uh, day Noli. Could actually see his muscles shut down there for a moment as he was trying like to he, like travel he just across lost. the court. Yeah, like he lost all faculties. Yeah. Across the travel. Nelson. I don't know how he got away with that I one, but he did. That. Underneath is Tejada. Oh, it's oh my goal. God. That's a prettiest play. Not at all, but it worked. Nelson lost control of it in the lane, somehow found Tejada, who oh. lost control of it himself, but in some way it found its way in the basket. Exactly. Bentley on the drive. We'll take the Kicks garbage it back points, out. too. Bentley gets it back. There's Jackson. Fake. Jumps. Jump stop, and it's good. From the elbow, Jackson is heating up. Oh yeah, 11 points in the game. In he his loves, first he half loves so that far. side of the court. Yes, he does. Oh, that ball deflected. Deflected yeah. by a two-three zone. Right Tejada was trying to get it to go. He couldn't get it to go. Eight on the shot clock. They're gonna have to put something up. Nelson. Ephraim, he's gonna need to take a shot. Gomes puts it up, forces it, can't get it to go. Oh, almost there. I think Ephraim should have took that shot. Yeah, I Try think to so get, too. Yeah. He, to, he had that quick moment where he could have gotten that shot in, but instead he decided to look for a better option. Generally the better idea, but not with four on the clock. Exactly. Sometimes being a little bit too unselfish can bite you in the behind as well. Exactly. Oh, on the drive, Miles Diaz puts it in. Makes it look easy. Six points on the game so far for Diaz. In a one-point game right now, BCC leads with 2.10 to go, 34-33. Ephraim, oh, what? gets it to go. What a circus shot. And he's gonna go to the line for one more. That's Ephraim. Picking up his first two points of the game. And he's nice going to go to the line for one more. Now the offense, was, as we talked about, Ben, as Ephraim completes another three-point play for BCC, yeah. that seemingly was keeping him on top all these N1s. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, and they're up by four. Two left to play here for Bishop Conley. Here's Bentley. Bentley on the drive, kicks it back out to Campbell. BCC in the zone of its own. There's Leland Jackson. Can they stop this guy? I don't Can think so. Can one guy get in this guy's face and stop this guy? He's having a field day. He is. He is on fire right now. He's having a field day over there. Yes, he is. Oh, nice bounce pass. A lot of movement by BCC now. BCC making Thanks, passes they really the don't have. BCC making passes they really don't have to make now. I know. You know, we talked about. You want to pass so you find the open look. If you have the open look, take it. Don't be foolish. You know, we've talked about how they don't pass the ball around, but now they're doing a little too much. Hey, 
That first shot made by Banks. Got one more. That one roll out, rebound by Jackson. There's Bentley, blows by his guy, takes it to the hole, oh. and makes a layup. Makes it look easy. No defense on that play. No. Going back the other way for three. It's easy. good. Big shot. Josh Banks with the three-pointer. He's got seven points off the bench for uh, BCC. Yeah, that was a big three right there. Yes, it was. Miles Dias for three. Ooh, can't Trying to get, get the it. answer. I think Gomes might have got the Yeah, rebound it. by Tejada. Going back the other way. In transition, oh. there's Gomes. The Bayhawks looking to close out this half strong. Up by five. Shot clock is off. Yeah. Now the soil will hold for the last shot, presumably. Yes, they will. With 20 seconds to play here in the first half. Oh, taking it to the hole, number 23, and it's it's going to be good. It's going to be a foul on Gomes. Yes, it is. Going to go to the line for one more. You don't need that right now. No, not at and all. And number 23, and a, and a Noli will go to the line. to the hole, no one's in front of him. That was in for him. And the Bayhawks will take a five point lead into the half. Yes, they will. So BCC up 44 to 39 here. Yes, they at are. The half at halftime here from Bishop Conley High School. I'm David Cardoza with Benjamin Andrews yes. here on the call. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's enjoyed the first half. And uh, we'll take a little break here. We'll come back here to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks 44, the Massasoit Community College Warriors 39. We'll be right back after this. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts where your home team, Bristol Community College Bayhawks, um, have the lead 44 to 39 over the Massasoit Community College Warriors. Second time these two have faced this season. The first time was here um, at Massasoit, I mean at uh, Bishop Conley High School. And um, it was the season, um, it was the home opener um, for, for the Bayhawks and Massasoit pulled that one out. Today, Bayhawks with a five point lead. Still don't think they're playing their best. Um, but they are playing a little better than we have seen them play in other games. So, right. you know, it's got to take it for what it's worth. <laughs> take it for what it's worth, yes. Yeah. And uh, who, who, we got for, who we got for our leading scorer? For our leading uh, scorer for Massasoit Warriors yeah. is, uh, uh, let's see if I can find his name real quick. So that way I say the whole thing. Uh, Leland Jackson with 13 points. And then uh, second in second for uh, scoring is, if I can find his name once again, too. I know I'm going to see it. Let's see. Paul Bentley with nine points. He's got nine for, points off the bench. Yep, and as for BCC, Gomes, as always, is our leading scorer. And Josh Banks is uh, bringing seven points off the bench. And actually, I lied, Nelson, Josh Nelson, eight points as well. And here's Leland Jackson going back the other way. He'll, he'll, miss, that, he'll miss that shot. Leland Jackson, an integral part um, of the Massasoit offense in the first half. Bayhawks have it. They gotta find a way to stop him. He free him for three. Can't get it to go. And it's gonna be. They say it's off Massasoit. They say it's gonna be off the Warriors. So it's gonna stay right here and be Bayhawks basketball. Second half getting underway here from the Dirty River. Inbounding from underneath his own basket. That's Darrell Gomes. Try to get it inside Dallas Scott and the sophomore gets it ripped away. And it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to stay right here. Possession arrow is going to be in the Bayhawks' favor. Yeah. Coach Rob Del get his hands out. Like, what's that? But it's going to be Bayhawks basketball in the corner. 
Nelson finding, ba finding Armani Baker underneath. And Armani Baker loves getting on that loves getting on that baseline and loves taking a baseline going up strong. And now he's gonna go to the line for two. Yes, sir. Another thing I've seen in that first half then is BCC was moving the ball around more crispy, more crisply, and they were um, being more unselfish, being more unselfish in the first half, really moving around that Massasoit zone, yep, which, which is, is very, which is very important to do against that zone. Definitely. Um, BCC, you know, they do a lot much. They do, obviously they do a lot better when their offense isn't stagnant, when they got guys moving. They're, they're passing the ball, passing, passing the ball to, to people cutting to the basket and not playing so much isolation. That seems to get them, will get any team in trouble. Exactly. When they don't play me ball, they, uh... Hero ball. Exactly. Hero ball, me ball. Here's Lilo Jackson on the baseline. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Joshua Nelson, who will push it back up the other way. And he's going to be fouled by Ende Noli as he's bringing the ball up. Reaching foul on Ende Noli, number 23. It's going to be his first foul. And the guests, Massasoya Warriors, have two team fouls already to begin this uh, second half here in the first minute. Exactly. That's not the way you want to start out the second half of a game when you're down by five. Again, Massasoya sitting back in that 2 3 zone. Nelson. To Gomes. Kicks it back out to Nelson. Underneath to Armani Baker who tried to get it to Cotton. <laughs> Cotton couldn't hold on to it. It's going to be Massasoit basketball. Yes, it will. Here's Campbell. Colin Campbell with the basketball. Drives to his right. And he's going to get fouled by Jarrell Gomes. He'll go to the line for two. As we've seen many Bayhawks basketball games, Ben, they seem to get off to a slow start, yep. but they seem to always have a barn burner kind of ending. So right now, the exactly. second half kind of... Yeah, the first couple of minutes, they ease into it slowly. Sometimes there takes them a few minutes to settle into the game, but then once they settle in and they lock in, it's, uh, it's basically a good 15 minutes of action-packed basketball. Exactly. Second free throw made by Colin, Colin Campbell, making it 45 to 40. Gomes, thought about three, gets it back. And Baker, Nelson, into the corner. There's that ball movement, but they'll lose the basketball. Turnover, that Massasoit zone. Three-pointer by Colin Campbell, front rims it, step back three, can't get it to go. Gomes to push it the other way. I was actually surprised to hit the rim. I thought yeah. it was going to be an air ball. Gomes a three for the top of the key. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Baker. <clears throat> and they'll set, they'll set a new uh, shot clock there. <laughs> Ephraim kicks it back out to Nelson. Three point shot. It's good. Great rotation on that ball right there by Nelson. That's his third three of the game. Yes, it is. Giving the Bayhawks an eight-point lead. Picking up where he left off in the first half with those Sunday afternoon threes. They look easy <laughs> and they fall easy too. Sunday afternoon threes, I love it. Bayhawk pushes the basketball the other way off the turnover. Nelson wow. to the hole. To, to go. Put my play in. Bayhawks up ten. On the drive, it's Kyle Campbell. They're gonna give him the hoop, it looks like. Yep. Thought it might have been on the dribble, or they're gonna give it to him on the lay-in. Gonna go to the line for one. Yep, Chidi Amici will check in for Alex Cotton. Campbell will miss. Lane violation. I think Gomes might have came in too premature. Or Nelson. Oh, 
not sure what happened there, Ben. Did no, someone, someone come into the lane too quick? Yeah, I think somebody stepped into the lane not even, before not the sure ball was. was released. And he'll sink that free throw. Yeah. So a free shot there and a yeah. free point. Cutting it to seven. So far, Campbell responsible for all five of their uh, points in the second half. Yes. Nelson. That's a three-pointer. Chidi Amici can't get it to go. Short. Somehow it ends up in wow. Gomez's hands and he'll put it up and in. A lackadaisical rebound. Yeah, that ball tipped up in the air. Gomez went after it and put it back up inside. Campbell in the corner. And Danoli driving on Gomes. Puts it off the glass, high off the glass, and drops it in. Strong move by Ende Noli. Yeah. Noli is a four, he's a six foot two, 175 pound freshman from Brockton, Massachusetts. Three point shot, Gomes from deep. Can't get no, it to go, tipped. Going Massasoit's way. Campbell from the elbows, Jackson, and he uh, loves that shot. Automatic. He loves that elbow shot and he loves that corner shot. Yes, he does. And Leland he's Jackson, he's, with him. Yeah, he's got some good stroke from out there. Yes, he does. He's kept him in the game. They'll swing it around, swing it around the perimeter as the Bayhawks. Ephraim from deep three, oh, front no rims dice. it. Every so often, he'll take that ridiculous deep three from NBA range, can't yep. get it to go. Jackson got about three. Probably said those for practice. In the lane is Campbell, gets it up. Looks like that's going to be on the dribble. I'm not sure if he'll... They won't give him two nope. shots. It's going to be on the dribble. On the drive. And the three, Campbell with his lackadaisical Sunday morning three. Can't get it to go, goes over the backboard. It's going to be Bayhawks possession. Nearly five minutes have elapsed here in the second half. If you're just joining us, it's 52 to 47. Your Bayhawks lead this contest. Dias picks up the foul on that one. First home contest since the, uh, since the break. Yeah. Here's Chidi Amici. Nelson finds a cutting uh, goal and was on the baseline. No shot. Going to be no shot. The foul's going to be on the dribble. Yep. Shot's going to be, uh, foul's going to be on uh, number 25, Leland Jackson. That's, that'll be his second. Yes, it will. The team's fourth. Inbound pass out to Ephraim. Nelson. Nelson dribbles to his left. Sh shifts it to Ooh. Baker, who gets it ripped out of his hands nice by Miles Dyens. The little man. No travel. Yeah. Dyens lost control of the basketball, dropped to a knee, yep. and he did travel. Yeah. Michi caused the diversion by trying to get that steal, and it threw him off and caused the travel. Nice cut. Nice ball movement and nice drive by Gomes on the baseline there. He's already got six points in the second half. Dias, who's control of the basketball, is going to stay, yeah. gonna stay here for Massasoya. And it will. Campbell directed traffic, being guarded by Amici at the, top the, at the top. In the corner, there's Paul Bentley for three, can't get it to go, rebounded by Baker. Goes with the basketball now. 13.50 left to go in this game. Seven point lead for the Bayhawks, 54 to 47. 15 on the shot clock. going to be an offensive foul on uh, Baker. It's going to be Massasoit basketball. Oh, wow. So Baker with the push off. Yeah. 
on the offensive end. That'll be his first. Team sport. Bringing the ball up. Campbell for Massasoya. Gonna be another travel. Way too many steps. Oh, yeah. And that's his second travel in as many uh, times up floor. Nelson on the wing, kicks it back out to Amici. Back to Nelson for three. Gets oh, it to go. Fourth, His fourth three. three. In the game. Style the profiling. So Josh Nelson. Nelson, 12 points on just threes alone. That's the difference. 10 oh, point definitely. lead. Bayhawks trying to avenge a loss that they had here in the home opener back in November. Fouls on Nelson on that play. One more foul and they'll be in the bonus. Massasoit, that is. Yeah. Drive into the hole. Nice pass by Bentley, but number 15 could not hold on to it. On the line. Loose ball. Anybody's basketball. And wow. looks like there's going to be a foul call. Foul's going to be called on Colin Campbell. Yeah. And one of the fans almost got hit with the ball. His second just, foul. So just left of her. She got lucky on that one. I missed that one, Ben. Oh, yeah. Lucky she didn't get smashed in the face. Oh, yeah. She wasn't. She wouldn't have seen it coming if she had. <laughs> We've seen that happen a lot lately in sports. Oh, yeah, exactly. Fans not paying attention and exactly. the ball's whacking them in the face. Well, it's always a good laugh, though. Oh, jeez. Nelson thought about another three. Comes in closer and nails oh, a jumper on the makes baseline. The two look easy instead. In the corner, Josh Nelson getting hot. And he's got eight points in this first half. I mean, second half. On the drive, Bentley gets the handle. Can't get it to go with the right hand. Loose ball on the floor. Going to be a jump ball. Well, that's going to be Massasoit ball, if memory serves me correctly. And you are exactly right, my friend. So Massasoit down 12. Yeah. Again, Bayhawks looking to avenge a loss they had here in their in their home opener. They were upset. Yeah. They were upset here. And they are. Had their homecoming upset by Massasoit on the drive. Campbell. He's going to get fouled. Yep. Uh, before, before the shot. Yep. So that'll put him in the bonus. I think he's going to shoot one and one. Oh, nope. They're in the bonus now, but they won't shoot one and one until their next foul. They need more Leland Jackson to the hole. Put it up with the wrong hand. I think he should have put that up with the left. He lost control of it. Go with his Nelson. Pass down the banks. Back to Nelson. He'll dribble it back out. Little help to Skelter there. Yeah. Michi to Gomes quickly out to Banks. Gomes thought about a deep three. Brings it at the elbow. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Campbell. Campbell being guarded by Josh Banks. DCC playing man to man, going to the lane is Bentley. Oh, Bentley nice. with a lot of looks, but he's not really making a lot of these shots. Yeah. Kind of gone cold here in the second half. He's got nine points, but a lot of drives that, that are going to the hole for Bentley, but, but not, 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 not connecting on a whole lot of them. Not lately. at all. No. A for effort. All right, give him that. Nelson with the hot hand gets it to Baker. 1 2 2 offense on that zone. Oh, Baker and it works, makes to, perfe it it works to perfection. That's his third point for this second half. Got nine on the game. 2 1 2 offense. Baker comes to the Baker comes to the basketball, takes it down the lane, and drives it home. Bayhawks with that man to man. Nice drive. Easy drive by Campbell on that one. He's been the star of this second half. Cracking sure up has. seven points so far. Out of a total nine points for the team. Yeah. Actually, 11. Seems like he's their whole offense. So BCC has come alive here in the second half. Ten fifty-three left to play. If you're just joining us, 61 to 49, the Bayhawks lead. And um, like, like what I'm seeing much more from the Bayhawks, much more 
Uh, much much better offensive look. Yeah. Um, they're playing much better. They're, now they're playing man to man. They're playing much better man to man defense. They're getting turnovers, they and uh, really being aggressive going to the basket. So, mm. like what this I'm seeing from the Bayhawks, Massasoit has gone cold. Yes, um, I have. On the offensive end, they needed to start getting the ball to Leland Jackson. It seems like he was. He's been. He doesn't, on... It seems like he doesn't miss when he gets his shot. Going. No, not at all. He's only got two points so far in this first half, and otherwise, first half he was on fire. Second half, I don't see why he shouldn't be, but they, he hasn't even gotten any looks. And just like the coach was telling him too during that timeout, he said, you know, for Massasoit, you guys got a rebound. Seven consecutive possessions, you're not getting rebounds on. And they don't try and secure him either. That's the re Amici in the corner. Gets it to Baker. Baker pounding himself inside. And looks like it's gonna, gonna be say he looks like he bounds. stepped out of bounds. Yep. BCC, I like what they're doing on the, uh, on the against the two-three zone. They're pulling one guy on the baseline. They get it to him, and that guy's paying dividends. Oh yeah. Oh, nice crossover by by Campbell. Steps back. Oh. Nice, beautiful shot there. Makes it look easy. Nice crossover and step back by Campbell. Yeah. That was a pretty shot, pretty move. Gomes kicks it back out. Amici for three. Get Makes the it look on. easy. That's what they got to do in an inside out basketball. Gomes on the drive, kicks it back out to Amici. Wide open three against the zone. And a 13 point lead for the Bayhawks. Campbell, the offense, puts that up. Nice. And I think he'll be go he will be going to the line on that. The foul's going to be on. Yep. It's going to shoot two. Chini Amici, his second. <laughs> Both teams now, Ben, have 16 fouls. Yes, they do. They're both in the bonus. Well, now, no, seven, seven team fouls for, for the home team, home for team, the Bayhawks. Yeah. Bayhawks. Obviously, they want to lead in everything tonight. And correction on that, Ben. Now, the Massasoit is in the bonus because seven. Yes, exactly. Seven is a one on one. Both yeah. free throws missed. Yep. The next foul, Massasoit gets BCC, will be in the one and one. That's right. Baker misses his shot, stays with it, and puts it home. Armani Baker. Perseverance pays off. Sure does. And that's what BCC's been doing. They've been more, yeah. more tenacious. They haven't given up. More focused team here today. Yep, on the drive. Definitely. Nice block oh, by Ben. Block. Nice block by All World. Gomes. Nelson on the other end. Five feet for you. Puts it oh, up and in. He gets the shot and one. And now BCC, where they like to be in transition. The assist by Nelson putting it in oh, yeah. is uh, Jeremiah Ephraim. Mm -hmm. And now BCC. Once a transition game starts catching fire, that's how, we, especially when they're down, that's how they, they make up a lot of points when they've been down, we, when we've seen them in other contests. Today, they're up, so if they can get their transition game going, they'll put Massasoit away for good. Campbell on the drive. Miles Dias for three. That's a big oh, three. Makes it they easy. needed that. That yes, three they did. gets a minute and lets them stay in it for a little bit longer. That yep. was a big three by Miles Dias there. They were, they were on the verge of getting blown out the gym. Gomes on the drive. Gomes on the drive, puts it in. So they're up 16, so that was a big hoop there. Don't want to give Massoy any momentum. No. 16 is the lead. Just when they think they might battle back, shut him back down. Leland Jackson goes to the hole, puts it up and in. Can't get it to go. Had an open look when he got to the basket and he Totally, totally job it. Bayhawks really don't need to attack here. They can kill some clock and they can just be play efficient basketball. Yeah. There's Banks for three, side rims no it. Dice. Jackson will rebound. Yeah. Jackson needs to take over his basketball game. Nice. Uh -huh. And he'll get that one to go. Jackson likes that little underhand, little roll in. Yes, he Sometimes does. Sometimes it slips out of his hand, but he gets that one to go finally. Ephraim Ooh. loses that one. That was, a, that was a really good defensive play by Massasoit at all, but you could hear the ball. You could hear that hand smack the ball from here. 
<laughs> she certainly could. Nice ball movement by BCC. Yeah. Gomes gets himself out of trouble, finds Banks for three, can he get it to go? Uh, Gomes almost with a putback. He puts it back a little too hard. And now Sawyer's gonna get back in this basketball game. They need a score here. Yeah, they do. Try to cut the lead to within 12 here. Yeah. Ooh, stripped away by Baker. Yeah. Keeps possession. Bayhawks in transition. Nelson couldn't. Nelson couldn't get uh, possession of it. No. Nope. But Bayhawks, uh, they'll call a timeout. Yep. Good timeout. Good timeout there by the Bayhawks and Bob Delalu. Thought that was a good timeout. Kind of unsure of yourself. Exactly. Almost, you know, lose supposed control of the be, basketball. Yeah, yeah. Supposed to be a decent transition play, but then it kind of fell apart. Yeah, things kind of falling apart. You don't yeah. need any turnovers here. Not at all. Massasoya. We've seen we've seen BCC um, a lot of times. Just you know, let let teams you know hang in there to the very end because they're being careless with the basketball. They have a big lead, and they kind of lose lose a little bit of their mojo a little bit. And as you said, you know, they got they got to keep. They got to keep on them. They got to keep that. They got to keep that defense on them, you know. And they got to, you know, keep pushing. Not let, not let the uh, opposing team get back into it. So, exactly. that was a smart timeout. You got seven minutes left. You have a comfortable lead at home, you know. Yeah, yeah especially sometimes they get ahead of themselves and then they start. You know, they're playing two steps ahead, but they can't catch up. Yep. But at least they they slowed it down. They're playing a very smart basketball game today. I'm actually rather impressed by the BCC basketball team that has shown up for this game. Right, I like the togetherness too. They're not definitely. They're playing see, as a unit. They're, they're playing as the five guys are playing as one, and it's good to see as opposed to five guys playing as five guys, which we've seen a lot. <laughs> Maybe a lot of practice time and a lot of rest time during the break. Yep. You know, kind of pull them back together. Coach Rob Dell is very good at that. Yep. You know, like I said, the second half of the season. This time, January, February is where you make your playoff push, where you make your tournament push. Mm-hmm. And I'm um, sure they also get a few extra practices in during the break too. You yeah. know, they, 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 they may also get to spend some, you know, leisure time with each other and, kind of, you know, build yeah. a bond as a team. Exactly, Ephraim. And that paid dividends. To come out of the break, come out of the timeout and hit that shot. That's a big shot and a 16 point lead. Shows you got a well oiled machine playing. And another thing with the Bayhawks too, Ben. No, not a lot of finger pointing. We've seen in the past a lot of finger pointing, a lot of, you know, you know, yelling at each other. A yeah. lot of that stuff doesn't go. Bentley to the lane. Oh, wow. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh. Jump shot, no good. Very Jackson, nice play. Jackson probably would have missed on this block here. Yep. Very good looking play. It just didn't pay in that, in that instance. Banks with the basketball. Yep. Finds Nelson. Back on the Banks. All the way to the hole with the left hand. 74 to 56. And he scores his first two of the half. Now Sawyer needs a sense of urgency. Nice take. Nice take. Showing him the basketball and then laying in the basketball. That's Campbell. Yep. Like you said, all the offense has come from Campbell in the second half. No way to play. 11 points in this first half, in the second half, compared to only four points by Jackson in the second half. Gomes. And there's going to be a foul on Bentley, it looks like. Going to be a foul on Paul Bentley. Or maybe not. Nope, foul was foul's on. going to uh, be on Leland Jackson. Jackson, yep. And it's funny in comparison because you look at the first half, Campbell had no points, Jackson 13 points. And now in the second half, Campbell, like you just said, like Campbell, Campbell is a big scorer. Yeah, exactly. And we, as, as we've seen in other games, Ben, usually a lot of times the Bayhawks have that one, that, one or two guys yeah, who are that, doing that all the offense. Yeah, first half star and then that second half second star. Second half star, isolation basketball. We've seen yeah. Gomes try to do too much with the basketball. Yeah. And we know he's a star, but he seems to do a lot. Today, very balanced scoring for BCC, so. Yep. Yeah. That seems to be the story now. Yep, yeah, you got, I, I mean, you got. Jackson, jumper, can't get it to go. He's gone cold now. Rebound yeah. by Nelson. Yeah. Bayhawks very much in control of this game. Yeah. Good now Massoya to trap. 
Dupree, a nice handoff there to Baker, off the glass. 20-point lead has been opened up. Baker with seven points in the second half. Took company in six in the first half, 13 in the game. Massasoit is seemingly with no sense of urgency here. They need to start nope. going to the basket. Need to start popping some threes now. Campbell. There's Jackson, the jumper. It's good. Loves that shot over there. I'm yes, telling he you. Does. He knows where he gets to his spot that and he makes is that his shot. shot. He owns that spot. Yeah, you every can't, court. You can't let him get to that spot. If you look closely, his name is actually engraved in every court right there. <laughs> right there? Yeah, so he knows where to go. X marks the spot. Exactly. I used to remember a video game growing up called Double Dribble, and there used to be like X's on the court. And you get to that X, you can make it from that X, and nine times out of ten, you make that shot. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's the money shot. The money shot. Bentley. There's Miles Dias. In the corner, can't get it to go. Good hustle and by Nelson to get in his face. We're going to have a foul away from the ball somewhere. Baker gets the push. Armani Baker with the with the foul. And Bentley's going to shoot two. He's well, one and one. Yeah, because like the first half of this game, you look at Gomes and Nelson. Gomes had 10 points. Nelson, eight points for BCC. And right now, Gomes, again, Gomes has 10. Nelson has eight on the second half as well. Yep, that free throw missed there by Bentley. Wow. Oh, nice shot. What a basket. Isn't Jeremiah Ephraim a king of those of those pretty little lay-ins getting the free, getting also oh. getting the uh, foul too? Doesn't even I didn't even think that was gonna go in. It just launched so high, tipped off the glass and fell in. Yeah, sometimes I don't know how that yep. kid put all he pulls it off sometimes. Going to the hole with that left hand. And that ball Some days he, he you disguises just, it well where yeah. that ball is actually coming from on yeah. his body. Some days coming you from just, the tip. Yeah, some days you just fall in a bucket of luck on the way in, you know. <laughs> I wish I could fall on a bucket of luck. I know, right? especially this Saturday you with know. Powerball coming out. Yeah. 81 to 60, your home team Bayhawks up here. On the drive, Jackson to the lane. No, no dice. good. That's his third missed shot so far this half. Good to see the Bayhawks not foul there. Yep. Nelson to Ephraim. Good to see Nelson not lose his dribble, too. He was. Very low dribble on that. Yep, and uh, Rob Del Lute instructing, yeah. instructing BCC to hold on to it. Yeah. Be patient. Ephraim, the shot. It's good. It's good. Giving yeah. him that shot. Leela Jackson gave him too much of an opening there to take that shot there. And a nice shot by Ephraim. And he's got some points here. Yes, he Everybody does. Everybody contributing in this, in this win yeah. today. He's got nine and points a lay in this half. Campbell gets two, and he's going to go to the line for one more. Campbell having a great second half. Yes, he is. He's having an amazing second half. Came out of nowhere. He did come out of nowhere. I mean, he, I mean, he did okay in the first half. But the yeah, second but, half, I he's mean, really been the uh, – he's really – First half, no points whatsoever. Second half, he's already got uh, 13 points in the second half. And that's really, that's really the story of the basketball game. Definitely. I mean, what was the score at the half? Was it 42 to 37? Uh, 40, no, 44, 39. 44, 39. So you're looking at 39, uh, Bayhawks have scored 39 in the second half, and then uh, Massasoit's only scored. 23. Yeah, 23, so exactly. So 39, 39 to 23. 17 um, points. Nearly 40 points scored here in the second half by the Bayhawks. So a mm -hmm. second half explosion, you know. Oh, definitely. You know. That's been the big difference. So I mean, Definitely. it's been a 40, a 39 to 23 second half. You know, it was a close first half. Close first and half. The second half has been a blowout. Bayhawks looking much more efficient on the offensive end. Usually, you see them helter skelter, taking a lot of mm -hmm. outside shots that they don't need. Taking Today, silly shots. Taking silly shots. Taking, you know, uh, a lot of isolation basketball. Yeah. They're usually, you know, a lot of times we've seen them, you know, take a lot of outside shots and and not make them. And now exactly. today. Much more things going to the hole, a lot more crisp passes, moving yep. that Massasoit offense around. 
and uh, making that extra pass, getting that extra, you know, making that extra dish, exactly. hit fouls, taking it to the hoop, just really playing more efficient. And, uh, and more smart, more smarter basketball, as you said. They look like a more focused, more intelligent team out there today. Definitely. And you know, I feel like if you went back, like if you went back, you know, a month, month and a half, play the same game where Massasoit comes out with that two-three defense. I don't think BCC would have found their way through it, and I think the score would be a lot different. Right. Because they see when they go against that zone, you know, mm. it's almost like they didn't know how to attack it. Today, exactly. Today they they figured it out. They, you know, they they took a breath. They stepped back. I'm sure Coach Delalu recognized the two three. Told them what to do. They executed. Patience. Patience. Exactly. Make that extra pass. Find Definitely. guys going to the hole. You seen. They found the weakness on the zone. Oh, They're definitely. getting the ball to Armani Baker, Jarrell Gomes oh, yeah. on that baseline. They're not taking the baseline away from BCC on nope. that zone. You got to find the weakness no. in the zone, and the Bayhawks have done it today. Exactly. That's the important thing. Jarrell Gomes still in the game for the Bayhawks with Chidi Amici, Jeremiah Ephraim. Pretty sure Joshua Gomes Nelson has played this entire game. Did he even he sit sure in has. the first half? I don't think so. That ball is going to be knocked out by number four. Number four is just checked into the game. Yep. Uh, the Sean, Sean Mayer, Mayer from Easton, Massachusetts, who went to Oliver Ames High School. He's a six foot four freshman. I'm not sure if he's related to John Mayer or not. But <laughs> perhaps. Or Bill Mara. Bill Mara. But yep. three, two, shot. Nothing. How oh. fitting. How fitting that his last three of the night tick tickles the twine. Yes. That's five threes for Josh. Five threes by Joshua Nelson. Here's Campbell. He might as well take it to the hole because nothing else is working. Exactly. Leo Not Jackson goes to his left, takes it to the hole. Yeah. He should have been doing way more of that as he puts it up with the right hand. Found his shot again. 86 to 65. And now Massaway is starting to press a little bit, trying to put a little pressure, but but I didn't a little get bit that. too late now. Yeah, and I didn't get that press. I had three up, uh, up, uh, you know, three up top, past half court, two behind, at the basket. That's, that's not a good press. No, that's Once not. Once you break <laughs> through those three, you get a five on two. Exactly. And the shot call, oh, nice little move by Gumichi. And he'll get to the line. That's a nice little, yep. broke his ankle on that one. Yeah, yeah. Sean Mayer picks up the foul. Chidi Amici, a little guy, getting a lot of playing time today. Yeah, I know, and he's looked good today, too. Moved the basketball, got yeah, some he, shots in. He had a big open three there in the second half. He'll he step did. up to the line for two. Yes, he will. Nice little move there. Mm -hmm. Gets the first one to go. And he'll make both free throws. Good for him. Yeah, that's five points on the game for him. Chidi Amici, sophomore guard from Providence, Rhode Island, went to Central High School. Here's Jackson on the baseline. That one rattles out. Heads up play by Gomes to bounce the ball off of uh, Mayer. Off of Mayer, yeah, off of Mayer. Change possession in BCC's favor. God, I tell you, Mayor sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't he, in this game? Oh, he does. <laughs> he can't miss him right Blonde now. Blonde hair. Blonde. Here comes Josh Nelson to the hole. He missed the lay-in. He missed the easy lay-in there. Oh, and. That would add it to his point total. Yeah. Nice drive, though. Nelson's so explosive with the basketball once he gets going. Exactly. Campbell and Mayer work together well to turn the ball over and give it back to BCC on that one. 88-65 was just a five-point first half. Nelson, oh, I mean, excuse me, in the, Jarrell Gomes sporting in, the new hairdo, hairdo today. Yeah, in the paint makes it look easy. 90 points put up by the Bayhawks, just like that. Yep. Unbelievable. Bentley to the hole. Step back shot, can't get it oh, to dang. go. Nelson with the rebound. Del Lou going to get some reserves in here. Yep. He'll call a timeout so they can get in. Yep. And a new five is going to come out. Yep. I mean, a new five is going to come in. Starter's coming out. Collins gets a break for the last minute of the game. Number 20, Ryan Stopka, freshman guard, has checked in from Rochester, Massachusetts. Actually, Amici really didn't get that much of a break because he's already back in. Yeah, right. Kevin Desire. Yeah, Kevin Desire. Kevin, De Kevin Desire, who had a pretty good game here today. Yeah, he number 23. 
He had four points in the first half. But he was definitely uh, picked up some assists, some rebounds. Definitely was active. Oh, yes, much more active than we've seen him in past games. He's a freshman from Providence, Rhode Island, Mr. Kevin Desire. Yeah. Alex Cotton, the sophomore. Yeah. Here's Amici. Oh, they love when this kid shoots. Oh, he oh. couldn't get it to go. That first one went wild. That was stopped. Oh, nice block by Desire. Yeah. And as you said, Kevin Desire has really stepped up his game with some rebounds. Couple yep. block shots. And he just told them after he blocked that, no way, yeah. he ain't taking that shot in my house. Only a freshman, too, so he'll be around next year, too. I like how he stepped his game up. Jackson can't get that to go. That ball all over the place. Rebounded by Tejada. Wrestles that away. Checking in for uh, Massasoit is number 34, Pierre Celestin. He's in the game. Michio just let this wind down. They don't need to take another shot here. 15 uh, seconds, 90 points here. So I'll have to take one more because a little differential between the shots. Well, they don't need to, game. Ben. <laughs> you might. Let's talk to just throw it up on the glass. Oh my goodness, if that had a win in. Brian Stop. Lou was probably like, why yeah. is this kid taking a shot? Yes. Throwing up yeah, the crazy. Throwing up a player with three seconds left. He got 25 game. Campbell with a shot. It won't matter. Yeah, he it probably anyway. counts. It's going to be a two. Yeah. That probably counts. It looks like they should count. Yeah, they I haven't given him to him yet, but no. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You're no, I guess first. they're not going to get it after all. He should get it. He should, but. He beat the buzzer on he, it. He but. did beat the buzzer. It went and the ball was out before the light went in, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. 90 to 65. Your Bristol Community College Bayhawks with the victory here today, beating Massasoya. And um, as you said, Ben, now both teams seven and six. Yep. Massasoya came into this game seven and five. Both teams play in Region 21, and this is a big win for the Bayhawks. Get this second half of the season uh, started on the right note, and uh, you know. We, we talked about the Bayhawks really crawling into this thing. And next thing you know, they're looking, you know, you look up at the scoreboard, 90 points on one of the higher scoring teams in Region 21. So the Bayhawks with a 90 to 65 win. Yeah. Uh, Joshua Nelson today, um, as you are listening to Bayhawks wrap up here with uh, your, your truly Dave Cardoza and uh, Benjamin Andrews. How many points for Joshua Nelson? He's going to be our uh, Bayhawks player of the game. He picked up 19 points this game. Five of them off of threes. Five yes, three five pointers three by points. Joshua Nelson. Um, he was definitely a huge part um, of this win, but a lot of guys contributed for the Bayhawks. That's the one thing I think that really separated the Bayhawks from, from Massasoit today is there um, is a bunch of different guys contributed, not just oh, one definitely. or two guys. You know, playing isolation ball. This Bayhawks team really um, played unselfish today, and, and it showed looking at the scoreboard to get a bunch of guys, you know, contributing. Yep. Gomes had 22 points as well, so he actually uh, he caught fire in the second half, racked up 12 points. To and how many guys in double figures? You got four, four guys. guys in double figures. Jeremiah Ephraim was in double figures. Uh, Jarrell Gomes. What do you uh, have, 22? Uh, Armani Baker had 13, and then Joshua Nelson went 19. So yeah. you can tell a lot of people doing their work, whereas you look at, uh, I mean, you look at, uh, as a matter of fact, if you look at Massasoit, uh, if I can find his well, name. you look at Massasoit, Campbell and, Campbell and Jackson. Yep, were the Both. ones who really carried the team, and then Bentley had 11, but he just couldn't, he couldn't hit water in that second half, so he exactly. wasn't able to help make the difference. You know, if you could have seen, if, if you would have seen Bentley and Jackson have second halves that match their first halves, would have been a different ball game. Right, you're looking at one guy dominate the first half, and another yep. guy dominate, dominate the second, second half. half. Exactly. And um, that two-three zone, um, the Bayhawks just knew how they knew how to attack it. That they a did. Of, a lot of good ball movement, like I said, finding the open guy, making the extra pass. Not falling in love with the three-point shot. I think that was the difference. And the Bayhawks walk out of here with a win. With a win. And uh, Rob Delalue, you know, it was a good, great night. Rob Delalue uh, gets commemorated for his 100th win. And then he on picks the up court. one more. And then he picks up one. He gets uh, win number 101. So great night here. Uh, full house. Good crowd. And um, you know, it's a good. It's a good Bayhawks win to win on the night where Rob Delalue gets honored for his 100th win. 
picks up one on one, mm -hmm. and the Bayhawks look to make their stride here in the second half of the se uh, second half of the season here in January. That the they do. Okay, the final score: 90. Your Bayhawks 90. The Massachusetts Community uh, Massasoit Community College uh, Warriors 65. For Dave Cardoza and Benjamin Andrews, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. <laughs>